Exactly. You don't have to have the full bottle. You could smell bougie on the budget. Like I'm telling you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Frenchie here. If you're new, hey boo. I make fashion and beauty videos as well as college lifestyle videos. So if that's your cup of tea, then baby girl. You better make sure to subscribe, baby girl. You better subscribe right now, okay? Today's video is going to be about my top five perfumes. I've been rotating between five perfumes and it's been really rainy and everything like that. So I feel like these perfumes been passing the test of my body and the hate chemistry. Even when I, I walk in places and people are like, oh my God, you smell good. I'm like, you know what <laughs> it just makes me feel good to know that so um yeah let me just share what my top five perfumes are with you i really hope you guys like it go to your local sephora Ulta, and get to smelling the like. first perfume that i'm going to be telling you guys about is her by burberry um i absolutely love this perfume this definitely has been my everyday perfume like when i didn't know what to grab i would just gravitate towards this because it's for literally any occasion like you could wear in the morning at night going out you could wear it like all day every day this was definitely it for me this summer um this is what it looks like and i would describe this as a fruity gourmand like a sexy fruity gourmand um i'm gonna go ahead and read the notes to you guys if you could tell the smell by the notes then this is definitely going to be helpful um, the yeah. notes are red and dark berries jasmine and a sensual musk amber okay this perfume I would describe it as a gourmand, like a like a fruity gourmand. It definitely smells sexy, and I've heard a lot of people say that this reminds them of the Baccarat perfume, which is like really expensive. I've heard that it smells pretty similar. I'm not really sure how accurate that is, but I could tell you right now, this smells amazing, okay? Like, go to your local Ulta and get to smelling, because this is definitely like one of those scents that would definitely become a staple. Guys, the second scent that I'm going to be telling you guys about is irresistible by Givenchy this is what it looks like and it is a old uh, toilette which usually means that it's lighter than what would be all the parfum or like a parfum overall so um yes at first i was very like skeptical about this because i'm like it's an old toilette it's not going to last long am i really going to like it but the smell guys the smell is what got me like if this was a all the parfum i would have loved it even more because it would last longer and it would just smell a little stronger like this is a very light scent i would say that this is a day scent like this is something i would wear in the morning you know going out let's say i'm going like running errands and everything like that that's what i will wear because that's what is i'm more comfortable wearing it for that and don't get me wrong i will wear this at night too it's just the fact that it's not like it's airy it's really light it's really like it's a breath of like fresh air if you get what i'm saying like this definitely smells like flowers and wood to me like definitely love woody scents and it's weird to me because i usually like woody smells in the winter and not in the summer but this specific scent just smells so good i'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the notes it says here that the key notes are pear rose and blonde wood i don't know what blonde wood is but I'm guessing that's where the woody smell comes from. Like, it smells so good. It smells fancy. Like, if somebody smells you, they just know you're not to be effed around with, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's really like, you know, people could smell you. They, they could definitely smell you and see that, like, you're wearing something expensive. But the thing is, I just, like, it's just the fact that it's named Eau de Toilette. That's what throws me off. Like, I don't know why. But nonetheless, guys, this is a great fragrance okay and i spent my money on all of this i'm not gonna come here and lie to you guys it smells grown sophisticated bougie um it's it, do it doesn't smell cheap that's a fact that you should know for sure i wasn't even expecting to get this i just walked into sephora and then the woman was like oh smell this and i bought it and then i was contemplating returning it because i'm like bro like doesn't last as long it's so light but it smells so good like if you're trying to be low-key you know just throw something light and just like you know be good for the day this is something i would definitely recommend hey guys we're in the middle of this video if you're enjoying it Please make sure you're liking it so that other people can know about this video and get to know a little more about these perfumes that you're learning about, okay? 
let's continue in the video the next perfume that i'm going to be mentioning is idol by lincoln this perfume is definitely something that i already mentioned on my channel if you watch my last perfume video which will be in the i card then you know that this perfume is definitely a perfume that i've been loving ever since last year the notes are spotless jasmine absolute radical rose essence and clean sheep accord I'm not really sure if that's how you say it, but I just read it in French, okay? Sheep. Clean sheep, okay? But to me, it smells fruity, it smells floral, and it smells musky as well. Like, I've noticed for myself that this perfume definitely smells like pear. Um, I feel like it has apple in there. I don't know if it does. I just read you the notes, and it doesn't really talk about anything that has to do with apple. But I feel like it has apple in there, and it definitely has some, like, raspberry in there. Because I definitely smell smell that and it smells so good like i personally feel like this has been my per favorite perfume for a very long time because even though this perfume is fruity and flowery and a little powdery to me it's definitely something that i could wear all year round like even in the winter i'm able to wear this and be okay with it like i would definitely wear this while i'm like you know wearing my coat and everything i feel like the heat and the jacket and the coat i don't know like it just smells good on me this so is I something i gravitate towards a lot and because i have a lot of perfume it seems like i don't use it but i definitely do because i just be spraying like i just that's me that's guys, me the next scent that i'm going to be mentioning to you guys you should already know because everybody talks about this scent if you don't have this scent this is your sign to go get it because girl mon party by ysl and there's different kinds of mon party by ysl that they, they have like the floral they have the fruity one and the floral one smells so good it's like this one is already a floral scent so like how much more floral can it get like you got what i'm saying like i have the original one and it definitely smells amazing to me like this is definitely something that i've been gravitating towards as well like obviously i've been gravitating towards all of these perfumes because these are my like, top five perfumes that i've been wearing a lot lately in this how you call it humidity but yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the notes yves saint laurent don't play with it stay with it little mama but um this perfume notes are the Tura flower patchouli and red berries i think that all of these are definitely stuff that you smell on there because like i told you guys it's like how much more floral can this scent get it smells it smells so floral to me like this i feel like it's floral like yeah there's red berries in there but i don't really smell that it just smells flowery to me like that's just how it smells um honestly i'm not the best at describing scents so the best way the best way for you guys to get to know these scents is to go in stores and try it on and see if it goes with your body chemistry because honestly these goes with my body chemistries and that's why i love these scents so much guys, the next perfume that i'm going to be mentioning to you guys is called perfect by mark jacobs i have a whole lot of samples for this perfume because i really liked it i just went and grabbed a resistible and burberry hair like i feel like i got all of these the same day um when i went to get it the woman was just telling me like you should grab this it smells so good you could wear it all day to go out to go shopping she was just telling me like this is a perfume you could do everything with and i completely agree this definitely smells floral to me this is definitely a floral smell and the notes are daffodil almond milk and cashmere i'm not really sure how almond milk and like all of this like i don't know how the person mark jacobs thought of putting all these scents together but boy let me tell you this smells so freaking good like it smells it smells bougie like have you ever just walked in somewhere and you just smell like you smell bougie like it's like everybody knows that you're that girl this is what this perfume smells like. this is just that perfume like i feel like it's not hard to tell that this is perfect by mark jacobs because i've come across a lot of perfumes and nothing smells like this like it smells so good guys it smells so bougie it smells so clean like i don't know how else to describe it like i've been telling you guys it's so hard to describe perfumes because it's like how do you describe it for to that like the person could smell it in their head through the next screen like you got what i'm saying i don't know but this just smelled good guys like i'm not gonna lie to you guys all the scents that i just mentioned to you guys you have to have it like you don't even have to have the full bottle go in your ulta your sephora and ask for a sample okay so you could smell bougie on the budget like i'm telling you guys 
guys go ahead and grab yourself these perfumes because you're going to be smelling good and it's just that type of confidence that smelling good gives you like it just makes you feel like yeah i'm here can you smell me like that's how it makes me feel like it just i don't have my sunglasses to wear but like it just you see those like square sunglasses that's how it makes me feel like so this completes my video i really hope you guys enjoy please make sure you thumbs up please make sure you subscribe please make sure you leave a comment you know my social media are all in the description box so if you want to get to know me on a personal level then go ahead and follow me feel me get to know me let's be friends or whatever okay okay guys i see you guys in my next video. Peace out.